Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. This is the part 2 of Introduction of Nanoscience and Nanotechnology. In this video, I am going to explain about a brief history of nanotechnology. Nanostructured materials were unknowingly used by ancient people in various applications and structures. So, ancient peoples already used nanomaterials for their purpose, but they did not actually know that they were using such advanced technology. You can see an example over here. This is Lycurgus cup in which nanomaterials were used. We got the evidences that ancient people were using nanoparticles only after the discovery of advanced techniques like TEM that is transmission electron microscopy, SEM that is scanning electron microscopy, AFM that is atomic force microscopy, STM that is scanning tunneling microscopy and nano indentation. These are the techniques that are used to characterize a nanoparticles. We have to know the properties of nanoparticles before using it. So by knowing the properties, we can actually know how it was used, why it was used. Now let's see some examples of ancient objects that incorporated nanomaterials. You see this, this is lead sulfide nanoparticle and ancient people used this nanoparticle for different purpose. Let's see them. Hair sample from ancient Egyptian burial sites showed the presence of lead sulfide nanoparticles of few nanometer size. You can see over here, this is ancient Egyptian burial sites and when we took the hair sample from it, it, took, it showed the presence of lead sulfide nanoparticles. Now why did they use lead sulfide nanoparticles? That's a big question, right? So they used lead sulfide nanoparticles to color their hair because lead sulfide nanoparticles were required for efficient hair dyeing. You can see in this portrait as well her color her, sorry her hair is so colorful that is all because of lead sulfide nanoparticles so ancient people used lead sulfide nanoparticles for coloring their hair you can see over here this is gold nanoparticle this looks so beautiful right they even used gold nanoparticles for different purpose let's see them So, ancient Chinese Longian porcelain plate, that is also called Femal Rose, is now found to contain gold nanoparticles of different size that provided the plate a decorative glaze. This is the Chinese Longian porcelain plate or Femal Rose. You can see over here, this is so beautiful, right? The decorations, the color, it shines so perfectly. That is all because of gold nanoparticles that were used in this type of plates. Okay, so gold nanoparticles were used in ancient time in plates. Okay, to make it more decorative that provided it decorative glaze so that it would shine and it would look more beautiful. Similarly, the ruby red glass windows used in medieval time that is 5th to 15th century that means uh, 600-700 years ago is found to contain gold nano powder. You can see over here, this is the ruby red glass windows that were used in medieval time. This contains gold nano powder so that it would look more beautiful to, to provide it decorative glaze they used gold nano powder for this purpose. You know what this is? This is carbon nanotube made up of graphene seeds. Graphene seeds are the strongest and lightest materials and we are still studying about it how we can use it for different purpose and ancient people used graphene seeds that is carbon nanotubes in that time as well. It's interesting to know. A special steel woods that is believed to be made in 
India and used to make very sharp and strong sword is now found to contain carbon nanotubes. You can see over here, this is the special steel woods and these steels were used to make a very strong and sharp sword that contained carbon nanotubes. Just imagine carbon nanotubes we used to make sword in that time and we are still studying about carbon nanotubes in this generation as well. You can see over here a warrior is carrying a sword and different other sword that were used in ancient time that may have contained different nanomaterials as well. Similarly, the famous 4th century Roman cup that is called Lycurgus cup is now known to contain nanoparticles of gold, copper and silver. As a result, the cup shows interesting optical property with two distinct colors visible depending on the direction of light of illumination. So long theory, right? So you can see over here, this is the Lycurgus cup. Now, what is the beautiful thing about it? Now, these contains gold, silver, copper and silver nanoparticles. Because of that, these showed interesting optical properties when they were illuminated from different sides of the cup. That means, if you are illuminating by this side and this side, you would see different decorations or different optical properties. And this made the cup look so beautiful. They were using all these nanomaterials to make everything beautiful, but still they did not know about, a, they did not know anything about nanoparticles and nanomaterial things. It's really interesting thing. Similarly, we can find a lot of other examples as well in which nanomaterials were used. Maybe in future, we will find some more things in which different other nanomaterials might have been used by ancient people. That's why we call the history is a mystery. So that's all in this video. If you like the video, please share this video as much as you can. And thank you for watching the video.